Aww. Yoko is so adorable when she's embarrassed. Mikan, you better be quiet before she throw a kitchen knife at you or something, bro. She does not like you, Makan. Stop trying so hard. Shut up! That's, that's what I'm talking about. Dick do a split, ho. She throw it back up, my fuck around, pay your rent, ho. All these pussies capping by shit they don't really get. Get for bang, bros. Say your grace, ho. Cause bitch is over. I had 80k, I blew that cup to Range Rover. I be swerving, switching lanes so hard, I damn near broke my shoulder. If she wanna fuck with us, I tell her, let that pin it over, huh? Hold up. Why these bro boys that can't stand me? I just hit it raw, then I made her swallow plan B. Pull out the chopper and I aim it at your granny. That bitch don't speak my language since she do not yeah, understand yeah. me. I know y'all see the Bob Ross on my shirt. Bob Ross would have loved this tune. How do I know that? I don't know nothing but no Bob Ross music taste. You know it. Bob Ross, this for you. What's good, y'all? Welcome back hey, to some more Dang and Roper 2. Now, controller, I need you to register. You know, just trying out something new. Got me a little wireless remote for my PC right here. Got me a little wireless remote for my PC right here. Starting something new, you know. Just testing it out for this episode. We already know how things ended last. Oh, you said take off my Easy Gang Volume 1 <laughs> Collector Edition Jet Blacks or Bamboo Forest Brown Limited Edition Collector 1 Easy Gang Volumes. Volumes? How y'all doing today? Hope you're having a great day. Let's get back into this dangin'. And then they hit me with this music. Now I did just hop out the shower. If my hair looks fuzzy, frizzy, nappy. And I don't know if nappy is like a controversial word. I wouldn't suggest anybody using the word. That's not, no one's here, right? Are we showing up, we hungry? Oh, Yoko. Whoa, don't giggle like that in my ear. Man. I can totally, uh. I can totally see it now. Those idiots! I can't <laughs> wait to see. What the? F okay. <laughs> I can't wait to see. What did she? What did she just say, y'all? But they'll probably be happy about it. They'll probably be very, very happy. Alrighty. <laughs> what are you doing up here late at night, anyway? Good. Ahem. Good. Hope speak a Good morning, everyone. Good Looks morning, like sir. Today is gonna be another perfect tropical day. We'll see, sir. Well then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today. Is anything in that cup, sir? Every time I see you, not one drop is gone. Drink. All right. Morning, huh? In the end, I was so worried about Fuyuhiko that I couldn't sleep. Golly, he got bam, he got molly whopped. Involving himself in Peko's execution like that. Suffering all those wounds. Is he really gonna live? And was it really okay to leave him in Monokuma's care? That's right, we did leave him in Monokuma's care. Look at Sonya crying for the homie, like, hold up. Look who's standing right there. <laughs> like, damn, can she breathe a uh, soda? Kazuchi? Worry has consumed my heart. My body feels terribly burdened. But that worry ends here. There's no way I can just lay here and do nothing. Loosening my stiff body, I slowly sat up in bed. I guess I should head over to the restaurant. That's right. No Nike. Just do it. I should meet up with everyone at the restaurant first, and then we'll question Monokuma after that. I'm definitely going to find out if Fuyuhiko is safe or not. All right. So let's go to the restaurant. Let's not even waste no time. Now, I'll be honest. All last episode... Okay, no, he was in a trial, so she she couldn't have boo-booed that much, right, y'all? Right? Now, she couldn't have boo-booed that much knowing that we was in a class trial. Okay, cool, cool, cool. She good, she good, she good, she good. Just chilling, y'all. Good morning, Sonya. Huh? 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 
Hajime? Hey, that's an old fool. Get back! Who do you think I am? I am sorry. Ah! That was unintentional. It is okay. Please be your usual self. Yeah. Goodbye. That was close. I was really gonna kneel before her. Um, Why? I am terribly sorry. I was so worried about Fuyahiko that I could not sleep at all. That must be why my face looks terrible. I was just so embarrassed to be seen like this. I am ashamed. I shall go wash my face and come back one more time. Now then, ta-ta! Sonya, don't look sketch after I just... After you just bailed out of the last trial like that, bro. Not immediately after the trial. Can we have some fun first? Ain't that how anime goes? You got filler, 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 plot, height, climax, filler, filler, filler. Like, where the filler at? She looked like she normally does. But just as I thought, Sonya and I were worrying about the same thing. Is Fuyahiko really okay? One way to find out, bro. This isn't considered free time either, it's just morning. Like I need to brush my teeth. I got like, I don't know, salad in the front two teeth. I'm not gonna zoom in though. Get out my mouth. PG, stop, bro. Alright. Good morning, Chiaki. Oh hey. gosh. Yeah, good morning. You're up you earlier than usual, you know. I couldn't really stay put and do nothing knowing that she was walking around potentially hungry. Have you ate breakfast yet? You hungry? You, you trying to go eat? Oh, I'm chewing too much. I got you. I got you. Let me let me calm down. Let me calm down. I see. Gaming as usual. No. I have a slight feeling she's deliberately concentrating on her game. Like she's trying to keep her sadness from showing by being completely focused in gaming. Or is it just me? Man, you already know she in the last 10 on Fortnite. Storm is closing in. She has no no mats, no loot. Bruh. That's the last Fortnite joke I ever make. Ah! Hajime! You're already here? Hiyoko, you're the only one here. What are you acting so anxious about? I I I'm not acting anxious. I just happened to be awake by coincidence, so I just came here early. I see. This girl, there's something strange. Is she trying to pull some kind of dirty trick again? I wouldn't put it past her. Look at the way her lips pout like that. Only people who make that with their mouths are liars. Shit. Bro, what am I supposed to do right now? Uh, let me go like this maybe. What the heck is what the heck is that? Yeah, exactly. A panel has been propped up. It's giving off a dreadful, unsettling vibe. There's a bunch of photos pasted all over it. You can't have a, a shrine like this that's all demonic and evil and be using Elmer glue. Like, come on, use like, I don't know, gorilla, gorilla tape, gorilla glue. You gonna use Elmer? Oh my gosh. Didn't my hero take these photos? Oh gosh. But what's with this terrifying ambiance? Yay! Wow, what's this? What an adorable decoration! Um, I don't know who did it, but they must have spent so much time and effort doing their best to make it. <laughs> My hero's gonna be happy too! I don't know who did this, but we should be grateful to them, right? Hey, Hiyoko. Um, did uh, you- Hello! Uh, uh, good morning! Uh, it's so rare to run into you two here. <laughs> what are you looking at? Huh? What, 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 what are these? These horrifying photos! I expected that reaction. I expected her to be on her back, legs right open, bald eagle showing. Her. Sorry, parents who are letting the kids watch me. Yo, did he just came in? He just came in full force, boo booing on me. Yo, what happened? Yeah. 
What's up? What's up? Is it a brawl? Huh? Yo! What's all this ruckus in the morning? <laughs> this... This is bad! Please... T take a look at those photos! Huh? huh? Photos? Whoa! Whoa! What the heck? Stop hey, showing hey, me hey, this hey, hey, song hey. on. What kind of ominous crap is this? Is this like something you use for sorcery? <laughs> this is clearly an insult against my hero. Damn it. I don't know who the hell did this crap, but they've got a lot of nerve. <laughs> this is too much to actually treat my use photos like this. Now Hiyoko, okay, so Hiyoko did do it. This is the filler we was talking about. Where did you even get that demonic uh, goat head from anyway? Uh, everyone. Look, I understand how you guys feel, but it's probably... Good morning, everyone. Good nom nom nomming! Good mongrel! <laughs> What's with those nasty photos? They're giving off a crazy huge ominous aura! Something like this. There is no excuse. This is too terrible. How could someone be capable of such a heartless trick? No, seriously, it's hey. just... I know, right? Seriously, it's just the worst. Jeez, I wonder who the hell did it. There's a lot of girl characters. I'm noticing that right now. Huh? Mm -hmm. You're right. There's no way Mario would be happy with, with this. <laughs> she won't just be unhappy. I'm sure she'll be so angry she'll cry tears of blood. <gasps> Man, who the hell did this? No! We'll have to search for the criminal later. In the meantime... <laughs> FIRE! START THE FIRE! <laughs> we'll have a grand bonfire so my hero can reach Nirvana. I gotta chill for a minute, can't do the voices, went too hard. S -s Seriously, this is... Hold it. You can't. Someone took their time to make this memorial so we can mourn for Mahiru. We can't burn it. <laughs> huh? Mourn Mahiru? What the heck? You sure it's not the other way around? I'm pretty sure whoever made this is totally disrespecting Mahiru. You think so? Really? I think it's just a little clumsy. See? Why don't you take a closer look at the intent instead of focusing on appearances? Perhaps. Oh, Despite their clumsiness, I'm sure whoever made this probably did their very best. I'm gonna just make this a thumbnail. They keep trying to slap this in my face, bro. If you look at it carefully, don't you feel like you can sense their feelings? Mahiru's not alone. She'll be with us now and forever. This was probably made with those feelings. Right? So I definitely think, yeah, it's a nice decoration. I see. After hearing you say that, I'm starting to feel the same thing. You... You sure are simple-minded. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, I don't really want to burn it! Huh? It cannot be. Um... Was the person who made this? No. <laughs> Mahiru was really, really nice. She politely taught me how to tie my kimono. She was really good at taking care of others. <laughs> Mahiru's probably lonely by herself. So I wanted to tell her that she's not alone, even if she's in heaven. Kyoko. <laughs> you. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! I, I did. 
want to make it look better, but... But... Unless I'm dancing, I I'm so clumsy at whatever I do. <laughs> I'm sorry! I am sorry! I, I, I am terribly sorry. I spoke out of turn without considering your feelings at all. <laughs> sorry, Hyoko. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm, so I'm sorry. Well... Uh, how, how, should, how should I put this? I, it, I, it looks like we misunderstood. <laughs> N now that I take a closer look, it looks like you put a lot of thought into the decorations. For now. So, let's keep this thing around until we get off this island. No. No, it should come with us when we get off this island too. It would be a waste to leave behind. Such a wonderful photos. <laughs> It's like everybody daughter right now, bro. I wonder when I have my first kid, is it gonna be a girl or a boy? I feel like it's gonna be a girl. But I really want a little boy, bro. I want somebody I can just slap around when he piss me off. So we're not gonna burn it? Impossible! Of course not! We would never burn it! You. Weren't you the one who started shouting that? I got it! Fine! Th did I forgive you all? Except Nikon, of course! Oh, why? Wh why? <laughs> why are you so strict with me? I see, I see. Man, it's so unexpected. Meow. I, I really can't imagine Hyoko being so diligent and earnest about something. Huh. <laughs> cares about that. <laughs> Hiyoko has a very kind heart. That's not it. C -c kind? Oh, come on. It's not like that. Jeez. Please, stop it already. <laughs> you don't have to be embarrassed. Stop it. Seriously, stop it. Don't tease me. <laughs> Aw. Hiyoko is so adorable when she's embarrassed. Mikan, you better be quiet before she throw a kitchen knife at you or something, bro. She does not like you, Makan. Stop trying so hard. Shut up! That's, that's what I'm talking about. Shut the F up, you pig face troll. Why only me? Because you just asked for it. Look at your bangs. Who cut those? Edward Scissorhands? Some of y'all don't even know who Edward Scissorhands is. Man, that's crazy to me. You said I'm saying it wrong? No, I'm not. Watch the movie again. A at any rate... I hope this is finally settled now. <laughs> it's very like you guys to settle things like this. Hmm, really? Feels like we made such a huge fuss about it and finally settled things. That's just like you guys. Well? Little by little, we're trying to understand and find the good in each other. That's the reason why we can move forward without feeling despair toward our situation. Yep. Yeah, you guys are all splendid. Splendid, huh? This body is uncooperative. <laughs> I have arrived. Apologies for the what? What, what the? What is this object that is releasing such a foul aura? Oh! Here we come again. Here we go again, bro. Hold up. Impossible. I gotta do his voice though, bro. I just enjoy it. A malice clings to my hero even after her death. We'll be sucked in even if we look direct. <gasps> direct. <gasps> direct. Look at it. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Directly at it. You're the worst. Wow. This is. Uh, sorry. Wow. This is a very hopeless object it doesn't belong in a hopeful place like this at all it's absolutely brimming with malice <laughs> well, let's just hurry up and destroy it I can't stand to look at it even one more second I'll destroy you stand aside I shall shatter this barbaric blasphemous false idol to pieces uh-oh, I think we might be seeing a beef brewing. <laughs> N 
now that those two are here, do you still think we're splendid? Oh, that's me. Now that those two are here, do you still think we're splendid? Hmm. Looks like it's gonna take a little more time. I completely agree, babe. The scene unfolding in front of me was so embarrassing. All I could do was sigh. But at least it was a peaceful scene. However, we didn't realize just how short-lived this piece would be. Oh gosh, bro, what happened to my filler anime talk? Even though we were finally bonding, a situation was brewing. Like a huge fracture running between us all. And that would be the trigger for a truly horrible and atrocious incident. Oh. Not just for me, but for every single one of us. We just hadn't realized it yet. Chapter 3, baby. Trapped by the ocean scent. Daily life. Alright, early predictions, y'all. Who we got? Vote in the... Actually, <laughs> don't vote in the poll, because y'all gonna, gonna spoil it, bro. My predictions. Gundam's not dying. Yoko's not dying. Sonia. Sonia. You're looking kind of vulnerable right now. Phew. I'm stuffed. I can't eat another damn bite. Hey. Man, you sure do eat a lot. Don't you ever worry about, like, choking? Yo. I never get worried. <laughs> you don't? Wait, what about Fuyahiko? Um. Is he really all right? I was so, so concerned. I could not sleep at all last night. Huh? Plus. If his fate is in Monokuma's paws, I'm even more concerned. <laughs> ah, if only I could have. Oh, sorry. If only I could have tended to his wound somehow. I wish I wasn't so useless. <sighs> well, I don't think you guys should worry about it. You. Do you just forget everything that happens when you eat? Alright! Now that I've got a belly full of food. I'm all set. So I'll show you my serious side. Leave the rest to me. I'll question Monokuma and avenge Fuyahiko. That's obviously wrong. Avenge? He's not even dead. Sheesh. What vengeance? You just want to test your skill. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> she flat out admitted it. Oh, she flat out admitted it. <laughs> Okay, everyone, can I have your attention, please? No! We hate when you come on the screen, bro. You slow the whole plot down. Meaningless. Oh, it's thank you. Great. Great, boo, boo head. Oh, it's you, Monami. What do you want? Jeez! Man, the fun moves over now thanks to you. Facts. Did I just ruin the mood? <laughs> Jeez, don't treat me so harshly. I did my very best today, too. <laughs> Hey, who the hell are you? We're talking about something important, so go away. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Stop it! Wait, no! I definitely don't want to be treated like an outsider. Just what do you want? What do you mean by I did my very best? Um. Oh, you finally asked hey. me. Well, once again, I've defeated another mono beast. How do you like me now? I worked hard, didn't I? Hey. If you've defeated a mono beast, that means ding, 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 ding. that's right. You are now able to visit yet another island. <laughs> so let's all live happily ever after with each other this time, okay? No more getting tricked by Monokuma. No more thinking about leaving this island. Love. Let's all live together peacefully as best friends. A new island, huh? Maybe now we'll finally find it way to get off this island and go home no that's the only thing we have that's our one and only hope <laughs> huh are you guys thinking about leaving the island even though I just said not to do you have a minute more importantly Monami what happened to Fuyahiko mm -hmm. huh Fuyahiko um, um you see I don't really know. I won't be fooled. Miss Sonia, 
can't you see it's just a waste of time asking her? In the end, she's just Monokuma's ally! You fiend! You're also part of that mysterious World Ender organization, aren't you? Hey! That's the organization that brought us to this island, right? Since you're the one who brought us to this island, that's gotta be it! Hey! Hey, I don't know if you're a rabbit or a pig, but just what are you planning? Hmm? This is a great opportunity! It's time you finally filled us in! <laughs> uh, what a dilemma, but that's the one thing I can't say! Bye -bye. Truly, this is a tragedy of middle management! Hold on a sec! She ran away again! She's always like this when things get inconvenient for her! Well... Oh well, who cares about Monami? More importantly... <laughs> She mentioned a new island. What should we do? However... I do not think we should be exploring when Fuyuhiko is in danger. <laughs> but we must move forward, no matter what despair stands in our way. That's what hope should be. What hope? You always say that just before you lead us into a trap. There's something wrong with you. Jeez. You're seriously just as annoying as Monokuma! Hey, hey! I'm also worried about Fuyuhiko, but... Is it really okay if we just stay here and do nothing? Isn't it better if we do what we can? Whoops! Has Alert Box been going off this whole time, y'all? What we can, huh? She's right. Let's try to find a way off this island before he comes back. Mm. You are right. Don't moan in my ear like that, girl. Don't moan in my ear like, hmm, I like that. I'm a freak. You are right. Um, you are right. Fuyuhiko will not recover any faster if we just stand around and do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with Miss Sonya. All right. Then it's decided. Let's explore and search for a new hope. Wait. So wouldn't it be faster to just beat up the rest of the mono beasts and search all the islands in one go? Leave it to me! If that strange looking rabbit can defeat one, it should be easy for, for it should be easy for us too. Hold on! Hey, don't think about doing anything reckless. <laughs> anyway, let's begin. Let's open the way to a hope-filled future with our very own hands. Alright, my nigga, let's see what you got. After all that, I feel like we're doing exactly what Nagito wants us to do. In order to prepare for exploring the new island, we left the restaurant. Hey yo, what does this look like? Island number three. Monami was right. The mono beast that was blocking his bridge is gone. Then, if we cross this bridge, we should reach the new island. With the feeling of hope in my heart that overshadowed any lingering fear of nervousness I felt, I crossed the bridge that led to the new island. So this is the third island. The ambiance is completely different compared to the previous islands. Does that say Titty Typhoon? Okay, we stop in there first. <laughs> that is so ugly, I know it y'all. I gotta do it though. The residences and ruins are all in shambles. Barely feels like a resort. And not just that, there's definitely no sign of any people here either. It feels a little dangerous somehow. It, it might be better to proceed cautiously. F that could have been the thumbnail. I think it's gonna be hospital. Interesting. Alright, y'all, let's do some investigating into this island. Hospital lot. I guess there's multiple floors to this hospital. Okay. Makan, you in here? Looks like this is the hospital lobby. The ambiance feels like something out of a horror film. I definitely don't want to be a patient here. <laughs> Holy sh- <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry I scared you. But don't worry. Even if you have a heart attack from getting too scared, this is a hospital after all. The moment I have a heart attack, I'll definitely have something I need to be worried about. But- this hospital is a little strange. I can't find any doctors, nurses, or patients anywhere. Just as I thought. 
here too. Damn it. There's nobody here. What's going on with this island? But... Uh, I, I noticed all the medical supplies are still here. I'm not sure they'll be useful unless we check them. <laughs> uh, that means I need to go check them, right? Uh, understood. I'll go ahead and do that in a flash. So please don't hate me. Nakon frantically ran to the other end of the dark hall and disappeared, making a huge fuss after she left. I guess that means it's okay to leave this place to her, huh? Gundam, what's good, boy? What you, what you find out? <laughs> Of all people, it seems I've immersed myself in nostalgia. This place is similar to the place where the mark of defeating the devil was carved into my body long ago. The mark of defeating the devil? How pitiful. And I have said too much. Forget what you heard. For your sake. He was the one who volunteered that information and now he's already telling me to forget it? I know my I know my hair looks crazy in these headphones. Could be a new style. It's not. There's a paper on the bulletin board. Apparently it's a hospital notice. But there's no one on this island. So who was this notice written for? Can we see what it says? That's the front door or what? Hospital hallway. Okay, okay. And that's the outside. Ah, this is the lobby, then we go in further. Patient room and consultation room. Why I say it like that? Are beyond this point, right? Well, it's fine if I leave it to Mekon. All right, bet we out. Gundam, did you lose weight? Why was he so flat? Like they look like a little, a little flat booty pancake. All right, this is where I wanted a oh, music venue, the Titty Typhoon. This is a hilarious, probably copyrighted name. And we can't even go inside. We gotta sit right here on the on the sidewalk. This building, with its gaudy and tasteless neon lights, obviously looks suspicious. I can't say for sure. There's no danger. I should cautiously check what's inside. Um. Okay. You already know, Ibuki. Why do I always get her name? Like I always forget her name. There she go. What the f Don't ever do the sound in my ear again like that. Why are you shouting yeah? Nah, I'm not gonna do it. So suddenly, don't surprise me like that. <laughs> the truth is so overwhelming that I can't help shouting it out. That's totally it. Cause this is a music venue, right? Yeah, it looks like it. I love music. I never expected to find a music venue. I can't help feeling excited. I never... Bro, Spike. Huh? Huh? Did I just say that huh? twice? Huh? Did I just say that twice? Are you okay? You're giving off a weird vibe. No problem -o. No problem -o. Spike, Spike playing with the soundboard right now. This is Spike trying to play you like it's not filler. This nigga playing around still, bro. You don't look very okay. Man, with a venue like this, Ibuki has no choice but to lend a helping hand. <laughs> this is just the beginning. <laughs> I'll invite everyone to... <laughs> like that smug feeling you get when you explain something with an elaborate metaphor no one understands I feel like I understand but at the same time I don't understand oh well if you've really taken a liking to this music venue I'll leave you to investigate it <laughs> leave it to me like let me bite you I'm tired I should hurry up and go take out another spot Where are man what up what's up with the bar Every time I come in, okay, okay, okay. What the heck is that? So this is the baton lighting's control panel. Apparently you can control the baton, <gasps> the baton lighting with this. There's a stage. I probably never have a chance to be in the limelight. 
Damn, what kind of thoughts was that? I mean, we all get them kind of thoughts, but you gotta, you know, quiet them. It's a surveillance camera. Beyond that, Monokuma is... No, it's whoever's controlling Monokuma. Why are they doing this? Sonya, what you got to say to me? Amazing! What a splendid place, Hajime! This must be the fabled disco! Disco? Yeah. It is where young it is where hip youngsters wear feather fans and tight clothes as they dance their go-go's and lambadas. She's so smart, bruh. I have no clue what Sonya is talking about. We out. Goodbye, Titty Typhoon. Goodbye, Titty Typhoon. Goodbye, Titty Typhoon. I'm out. I'm out. Goodbye, Titty Typhoon. Goodbye, Titty. Goodbye, Big Titty. Big, Big Titty. That's, this is going to be called the Big Titty because it's a Big Titty building. Whoa. If I get demonetized for saying the word, bro, I'm done. You never know on this website no more. What up, Yoko? It's a small building with guest accommodations and a parking lot. This is supposed to be a motel, right? I've seen them before in movies, but it's my first time actually seeing one in person. <laughs> wow, what a rundown motel! It looks pretty unsanitary, too. It's just like Hajime's house. Never even been in my house, let alone, let alone be, let, 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 she got me, she got me with that one, she smarted me, she got me. <laughs> Oh, I, I didn't know you were here. You don't stand out at all, so I didn't notice you. Well, I, I, I noticed your funky ass armpits when they lift up like that. Funky ass. <laughs> anyway, this place is seriously run down. It's like the perfect home for minimum wage workers. Damn, that's a bit harsh, don't you think? But, but we gotta make sure we check it out thoroughly. It's possible that there might be a clue here. If you think so, why don't you go inside and look around instead of standing around here doing nothing except stinking up the whole parking lot with your piss and booty and poo. Hey! You're probably too vulgar to get this, but there's a saying. Praise a fool, and you may make him useful. What's that supposed to mean? No! Akane was checking out the inside. <laughs> After I gave her a little praise, she got really excited about it. A dumbass like her is pretty rare, so we gotta make sure she's treated well. Uh, if her rotten attitude is this extreme, I can't really take it personally. Message, okay. Okay, Haji, that is one way to look at that. Haji, I like that mentality a lot, bro. I'm finna take that with me back to the IRL. I guess we should go inside with her, right? If it's just to say the night, the cottage is good enough. So we're not going. Haji, we just gonna let Akane? Okay. I'm guessing everybody reporting back to me. So, so far we have what? A hospital, a club, and a motel. That's it. Electric Ave? Alright, let's just do one by one. I'm getting, I'm getting anxious. I can tell I'm getting anxious. My feet start pitter pattering on the ground below me. There are a bunch of street booths filled with electric appliances at the back of a narrow alleyway. Look at the wire up there on the wanna road. That's going to somebody's house and someone finna explode in a minute. Machines and other parts are cluttered together on display. It definitely seems fishy. But wait, this many machines, we can probably find something we can use for two-way communication, right? Looks like it's best if I search around here. All right, look, tell me where to go. No E40. Whoa, bro, Kazuchi, relax, bro. Huh? Are you serious? <laughs> Are you shitting me? What happened, bro? I thought I thought you'd be happier about being surrounded by so much machinery. Of course not. Uh, don't say stupid things. I'm the ultimate mechanic, you know. Of course I'm happy when I'm surrounded by machines. Then you should look happier. Ooh. Dude, try to understand how I'm feeling. I have this unexplainable, conflicting feeling about whether or not I should be happy. I can't understand that kind of feeling, bro. But 
why why do you feel so conflicted? There's all this machinery light up lined up here. Oh, damn, I want to take them apart. I want to dismantle them and look inside. That's how I usually think, right? Oh, man. But I know now not I know I I now know I oh, god, I know now is not the time for me to do something like that. And that's why I feel so conflicted. Is wanting to dis dismantle mama? Huh? Hell yeah! It's like if you have the hot chick, if you have the hots for a chick, you want to take her off her. Fuck, I can't read right now. I'm trying to speed through this. I need some more water, bro. Let me chill, bro. Hell yeah! It's like if you have the hots for a chick, you want to take off her clothes, right? And you want to check out her bone structure, right? Like her ribs or. Where parts of her bone sticks out, right? That's not normal. Nigga, that's actually, that's pretty acrobatic. I say pretty acrobatic sex fetish. Serious? Seriously? Uh. Mm, I see. So wanting to see a chick's bone structure makes me a little perverted. Pretty much. What? Come here, Monokuma. Quit hiding. Huh? I've been found. That's a little racist to have that one dressed like that and hiding in a, in a in a in an alleyway in a ghetto. You're not slick, Spike. Where the, where the black characters out too, Spike? Come on, bro. Somehow, it looks like she's fishing things out of a pile of electrical appliances. Chiaki, what happened, babe? Are you looking for something? Well. Yeah, I was wondering if there are any game consoles in here. Sometimes old hardware is treated like junk. Ah, so that's what you're doing. Um. I already have a TV in my cottage, so it doesn't have to be a non-portable device. I'll settle for anything. If you do find something, let me know. I hope you carry it back to your cottage. Yep. Yeah, and I will. But I don't want to play video games for a while. I'd rather not be reminded of the previous incident. My fault, my fault. Various desktop and laptop computers are arranged in a disorderly manner like a pile of oversized trash. Though they are a little old fashioned and run down, they all look like they can still be used. I know. If we can connect to the internet, we might be able to call for help with these. As soon as I thought of that, I grabbed a random laptop, pulled it out of the pile, and turned it on. That sound like that sound like PS2. I tried to see if it would connect to the internet. It's no use. Looks like it's not connecting. Well, there's no way it'd be that easy. But just when I was about to give up, my eyes noticed the strange icons arranged on the desktop. Usami X-File, and there's Monami Ugly Booty. Without thinking, I clicked that strangely named icon. It's a document file. Based on the format, it looks like it's some kind of report. I scanned across the words displayed on the screen. About the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. This horrendous event originated with some students of Hope Speak Academy causing a revolt. The students of the reserve department were dissatisfied with being treated differently than the primary department and began to fight the academy. At first, the dispute was confined to the campus and hopes were high that it would settle down someday, but things quickly escalated. Behind the scenes of that rebellion, a huge authority was exerting its influence. Eventually, it spread like an infection, provoking riots in various parts of the world. It was unlike any previous act of terrorism or coup d'etat. It seemed to have a much different purpose. However, no matter what we assume, we simply cannot apply reason to this subversive movement. Nonetheless, the destruction is not chaotic or disorganized. It is both purposeful and malicious. Therefore, it is subversive, movement full of despair. Hope Speak Academy became the origin of the incident and was forced to put an end to this, to their long history. As for the students who survived, they were forced to kill each other as a lesson in despair. It's no use. The words are too garbled to read beyond this point. I wonder if this is about us. Is this game a prequel? And Kuya lost weight? I don't know, bro. But 
What is this? Boy, <laughs> tough crowd. Hmm, how normal. It's not normal like a dog barking. It's such a normal reaction that it's actually quite novel. Now I'm really angry. Hey, can't you react with more gusto? Don't you know how very, very important this scene is? Could it be? Were you the one who created this file? What's this? My, my, what makes you think that? Because it's, it's obviously the only thing I can think of. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history? Riots in various parts of the world? And Hope's Peak Academy getting destroyed? It sounds like something stupid you'd make up. And? And? What's Hope's Peak Academy's reserve department? I've never even heard of that before. Bye -bye. Huh? Really? That's weird. Now, of all people, you should definitely be the only one who knows about it. W what do you mean? I guess you forgot about it, along with the memories of your school life. So it can't be helped. While we're on the subject of stupid things, that file says something about students who survived. Is that... is it referring to us? Then the rest of that file hey, is... Hey. Uh, uh, hold on a sec, you guys! Hey, hey! Just... What the heck have you guys been talking about? It doesn't make any sense! Hmm. Movies with no images, music with no sound, novels with no words! These are things that truly don't make any sense! What are you saying? So you can't say something this simple doesn't make any sense! Who cares about that? Just answer me! Who are the students who survived? Oh. I wouldn't know an important story like that. Cause the only thing I'm good for is being cute. And then he leaves. Damn it, he ran away again. Uh. Hey, hey, Hajime. Don't worry, it's gonna be fine. I'm sure he's making all that up. That's it, he, he, he definitely is. All right. Yo, Chiaki, did you not see that? Teratero would have never used this old microwave. He probably, he would have probably used the latest kitchen equipment and cooked the world's tastiest dishes. With those dishes, he would have made a lot of people smile, but that's no longer. This OST is kind of fire. This, this, uh, uh. So this is the cell phone corner. Looks like they don't give reception. Even with all this variety, they may as well be paperweights. Yeah, we're done here. Alright, that's Electric Ave. Movie theater, okay. Wild Gunman Monokuma and The Wizard of Monami. Okay. And that's what's playing right now. I don't want to see that trash. That's straight to Netflix, straight to DVD trash. Welcome! I just saw you do. We're currently showing right now, so please wait five minutes for the next showing to start. Showing? What does that mean? What are you saying? Are your eyes just for show? Look around! This is a movie theater, right? Of course! Then I'm obviously showing a movie. Showing a movie? Well, I guess there's no need to even ask. You're just gonna say this is the next motive, right? Just like Twilight Syndrome murder case? I'm definitely not going to watch your movie. Whatever it is, I'm not, I'm never gonna see it. Yeah. My goodness! And I was thinking about giving you an invitation ticket! Yeah. But I won't allow you to not watch it! I went to a lot of trouble to make this movie! If you don't watch it, I'm gonna be sad! I'm sure your movie is no different than that game you made. No, no! That game was a shoddy piece of crap! But this movie is definitely a masterpiece. Anyway, as long as I refuse to allow it, you will never have the choice to not watch it. I am Monokuma! On this island, my word is law! If I don't watch it, what are you gonna do about it? What the heck? There's no way I'd allow such reckless behavior. There's no way I'd allow it. But... What are you gonna do? 
I'll forgive you if you purchase a Monokuma sticker at the cut counters over there. Monokuma sticker. Oh, what? I thought that was a sticker myself. I'm about to slap you back in my bedroom wall, boy. Uh, okay, goods corner. Let's see. There's some strange goods on the top of the counter. This one looks like a tote bag made of hemp cloth with the decal of Monami's face on it. No. Oh, did that catch your eye? It's an all-purpose tote bag useful for a variety of common tasks. It's a limited item. Only one person can have it. By the way, apparently tote bags were originally invented to carry around ice. Mm -hmm. I did not know that. That's insane. And it's actually pretty smart. So how about it? You want to buy it? I'll pass. Okay. Yeah, I thought you'd say that. Now I'll just be upfront with you. I cut a lot of corners making that thing. That's too upfront, bruh. Is this the sticker you were talking about? I'm sorry, I was born stupid. It's not funny, and I don't understand its purpose. How half-assed is this? Actually... To tell you the truth, this is a very lucky sticker I received from a wandering, miracle-working priest! What? And it could be yours for the special price of only 1.5 million dollars! 1.5 million dollars? What? You don't mess with me. I don't even have that kind of money, bro. You think you're talking to Buya Kuya? <laughs> oh, Buya Kuya. I meant to say Fuya Hika. Man, rest in peace. On Sogami, rest in peace, Buya Kuya. Then you can then you can pay me back when you get off this island. If you don't like it, you can always just watch my Fine, I'll pay I it. Don't believe it. As long as I can pay it after I get out of here, I'll pay anything, even 1.5 million dollars. You're the first person to ever pay 1.5 million dollars for this sticker. In other words, she really don't want to watch my movie, huh? That makes me a sad Monokuma. <laughs> but if I'm gonna make a huge profit, it's okay. I'm a mascot who's a, who has a hobby of counting money after all. You're the worst ma mascot ever, bitch. Here. Come on, take it, thief. And slap it on your forehead, thief! Alright. Take advantage of this divine opportunity, thief! The sticker I received was even thinner and more cheap looking than I thought it would be. It's like a prize from a box of candy. Did I really agree to pay so much money for this piece of crap? Maybe I am a little crazy. <laughs> Whoa there! Looks like the showing is over! Alrighty, I gotta collect those questionnaires! At that moment, Monokuma started humming and skipped away toward the door leading into the theater. The door opened violently, and one person appeared from within. Hey! Hey! Ah, Nikito! Please answer my questionnaire! Jeez. It doesn't matter if I answer it. That movie was so boring it was a torture. Minutes felt like weeks while I was watching it. Hmm. Uh-oh. Um. Yes. <laughs> well, I guess that's what art is. Because it's not really art unless it surpasses common sense. <sighs> I thought it was going to be another motive. But I guess that's not the case. What a letdown. If money would have settled this, I should have just settled it with money. N Nagito is so depressed. The movie must have been really, really bad. You know I want to see that movie, y'all. Quit playing with me. I definitely made the right call by not watching it. Is that my hero on the freaking poster, bro? Who is that? It's a video game poster. Hmm. Looks interesting. I'm definitely going to buy that. Why is that? Why is that, uh, Hajime? Is it because you can barely see the crest of her undergarment? The crest? What does that mean? It's a food shop. 
A lot of things like popcorn, sandwiches, and drinks are all arranged here. Apparently I can watch Monokuma's specially made move, movie. However, I heard the content is just terrible. I don't have to watch it since I bought the sticker, but it costs 1.5 million dollars. Maybe I was too hasty. Nagi, you gotta tell me about that movie, bro. <sighs> I'm so tired from boredom. If money would have got me out of seeing it, I should have just settled it with money. Now let me ask you something. If you were told you could pay 1.5 million dollars and not watch that movie, that's obvious. I'd gladly pay it. Quick answer. The movie must have been that bad, huh? I'm out of here. Yeah. All right. All right. There's a lot of Please stuff going on. Hajime, over here! Please hold on. Sonya, did something happen? Well? Just now, uh, I went to the hospital and it appears Mikan has made a very serious, a various, a very serious discovery at the hospital. Very serious discovery at the hospital? It's not strange drugs or thick needles or anything like that, right? Haji, it appears you are the same as me. Huh? Me? It is the same as if I turn around, he's there. But I also remember that person in the wind. What are you talking about, you bookworm? Jeez, are you so unrefined? It is Japan is Japan's legendary medical drama. That person in the wind aired in 1984 and set the standard for every trendy drama that followed. Well? It is about a righteous rookie doctor and an elite senior doctor who fight over their mutual love interest. Actually, the lead actor and actress got married in real life. Yo, why do you know so much about this? Can we get to the hospital? <laughs> anyway, please hurry. We will be waiting at the patient's room at the back of the hospital's first floor. First floor, golly. Might as well head to the hospital. Facts, let's sprint there faster. And we're here, thank you for that. Hello there. You're late, Hajime. Looks like you're the last one. Are the others already here? Yep. There are patient... Uh, there are patients room... There are patient rooms lined in the hallway. But everyone is apparently gathered at the room in the very back. You're not going with them? <laughs> Miss Sonia... As expected from the ultimate princess, she cordially asked me to come. She's very much in touch with the feelings of us common folk. <laughs> Nevertheless, I know my place, and I'm not reckless enough to go along with her. Since it's going to be such a touching scene, a worthless thing like me would just be a nuisance, right? A touching scene? I... Hajime, I'm jealous of you. Jealous? Of me? Hey. You don't know what your talent is. But you're showing no distress, and you're even opening up to everyone. Great! That must mean you have a lot of confidence in yourself, right? Are you being sarcastic? Wow. N no, nope. Not at all. Mm. But still, I do wonder what sort of talent you really possess. Since you've dragged it out this long already, I'm sure it must be an appropriately magnificent talent. Who, who knows? It's not like it's my fault for dragging us out. You're right. Sorry. Nah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for stopping you for such a foolish conversation. <laughs> Please go on ahead. Take care. After all that, what did he really want to say to me? Bro. Nagi, who are you, my dude? This can't be... This has to be somebody from the first game. I, I'm, I'm assuming it's Makoto, but... What the f***? Oh, that's a... Okay. Sorry about that, y'all. Room in the very back. I can hear voices on the other side of the door. Sounds like they're all here, but... What are they doing here? I had a feeling something bad was happening again. Cautiously, I opened the door. Huh? I couldn't help raising my voice. What? Ooh. You look like 
you've seen a ghost. Ooh, was not expecting to see this. This this was probably so obvious for some of y'all too, but I was not expecting to see this. Hey, Nico, are you all right? <laughs> it's just a scratch. It's just a scratch. That's not a scratch at all, though. Well, I'm relieved to see you. I was worried you were done for. Nakamaro, you're making his head hurt, bro. Lower your voice. And step outside when you poop. <laughs> There's no way I'd die from something like this. There's no way I can die. What? Earlier, and I asked Monokuma and he showed me his medical records. There's a lot of sword-related wounds, but they're, they were relatively light wounds. No organs or nerves were damaged. Aww. Considering how fiercely he was attacked, this is pretty miraculous. <laughs> <laughs> You're a ballsy one. Is this what's called having the devil's luck? Is that so? Who knows? Maybe it wasn't luck. Well? Maybe Peko gave her life to protect Fuyuhiko. Are you serious? She protected him? While she was getting attacked by that horde of marionettes? Still. But if she really wanted to protect Fuyuhiko at all costs, it's not strange to think that she would have done that. No, I think it's better if we think about it like that. You... You think so too, right, Fuyuhiko? That must have been what you thought. There's no way you can die, right? Hmm. Who knows? Hmm. After forcing out those words, Fuyuhiko turned in his bed away from us. Stop talking. Um. Um, I think Fuyuhiko should rest here for a while. His wounds haven't fully healed, so it'd be bad if he overexerted himself. <laughs> no need to worry. I'll take care of him for the time being. I mean, that's what nurses are for. Now then. You hear that, Fuyuhiko? Just relax and get some sleep. Leave it to me! I'll be the one who avenges you. That's obviously wrong! Seriously, he's not dead! Um... Um, you shouldn't, you know, talk so loudly in front of the injured. Same thing I said, bro. Hold on! Hold on! Like, bro, relax, Lloyd. Did you not hear Makan? Akane. Fuyuhiko has finally come back to us. You better not do anything reckless. I can't stand the thought of losing someone any longer. Move! I know that. I just have to win, right? This is bad. She doesn't understand at all. Zoinks! Doesn't he sound like Shaggy a little? <laughs> then do whatever you want. Hey, Nekamaru. Jeez. You're the kind of woman who refuses to listen once her mind is made up. I know that all too well. Did you just pick your ear and then pick your nose? So do whatever you want. I don't care about you anymore. However... I'm never going to do IT to you again. Huh? IT? Uh, uh, yeah. Please, please keep your voices down. You're the loudest one here, girl. Hey! Hey, hey, wait, wait a sec, Nekamaru. It, it was my first time. I, I never thought something that feels so good even existed in this world. M my body still hasn't forgotten. And I, what are you, what? Nekamaru and Akane be getting it in? Her body hasn't forgot? What are, what are cool, like memory foam? Ooh, that sound good. You just gonna you just gonna stop all of a sudden? It's hot. L look, my my body's getting all hot again just thinking about it. Hey, hey. Is it what I think it is? Huh? If you're not going to heed my warning, it's unfortunate, but it must come to an end. 
As he spat out those words, Nekamaro left the patient's room. Uh, hold on! I, I can't live without it! With that voice that sounded like he wanted to cling on to Nekamaro, Akane rushed out of the patient's room. Oh my! I wonder what that was all about. <laughs> look, at, look at I know Soto over there like, I'll show ya! I'll teach you what it is! No, you won't, dude. You, ne you ain't never gonna get a taste, a lick, a drip. Phew, it's finally quiet. Such bad manners to raise your voice inside a hospital. How pitiful. Humans are such foolish creatures. Hey, Hyoko. Hm. It's nothing. Something's definitely wrong. I mean, she's glaring really hard at Fuyuhiko. But I guess it makes sense. Fuyuhiko is the one who got Mahiro killed by Peko. And Hiyoko was nearly framed as her killer. There's no way she's just going to get over that. Hey, why are you making such a scary you face? Know, right? Like... Like, no matter what, it means it, right? He's still talking about it. Hey, hey, hey! Suspicious. It's definitely suspicious. Uh, all we gotta do is follow him. You think so too, right? A fire that didn't need to be started has become a towering inferno. I'm out. Golly, bro. I'm gonna ask everybody that I'm ending this episode, bro. Maybe. It's probably impossible, but are those two in like an intimate relationship? An intimate relationship? That's not how a teenager would describe mm. it. But didn't you hear it? How Akani was pleading as she ran after Nikamaru. Her voice was oozing sexiness, dude! The more he talks about this, the more he sounds like a dirty old man. <sighs> but following after them is scary too! If I ever got caught, they might rearrange my face! If only I had more courage! Hey, Kazuchi. Those who won't run will never see the gold. Whoa. Huh? Well, it's a quote from a manga I happened to see, and it just crossed my mind. <sighs> Whoa, what an inspiring quote! Huh? Alright! Hajime, my eyes are open now thanks to you! Alright! Let's go run together! Huh? Me too? Crap, I should have kept my mouth shut. Let's go! To our horizon! We're really chasing after them? I clicked one person! Kazuchi was filled with the weird sort of energy as we left the hospital together. What? I can't even talk to nobody else! He was practically dragging me. Alright! Our horizon is right here! Are you stupid? If you don't lower your voice, we're gonna get caught. <laughs> no problemo. They're already inside the cottage. Once they start getting into it, there's no way they'll be able to hear their surroundings. <laughs> okay, then let's go, my friend. Let's run to our goal. I seriously should have kept my mouth shut. There's no way I'll be able to stop him. Bro. I never in a million years would have thought I would have been listening in on Akane and Nekamaru intimacy. Mm. So how about it, Hajime? Do you see anything? No. But if we keep peeking like this for much longer, we might get caught soon. <sighs> Let me turn that all the way up. What the? Was that Akane's voice just hey, now? Hey. What the heck was that? That's a chick's voice and it sounds hot! C could it be? Are they really? I knew it was a fucking massage, bro. Come on! Come on! Come on! He think he mean. This nigga think he mean now. Nick Amaro wanna be me. No, he don't. No, I don't, no, I don't even associate me with him because I forgot he boob all the time. But I do want to take a look at this photo. Let me see it. I'm pushing Q. Body. Just 
can't live without this anymore. There's only one ultimate masseuse, and that's me, Nekomaru Nida! How is that relaxing, dude? You'll need every pressure point throughout your body, and I'll help you see a brand new world. I'll blow away your fatigue! How about it? You just can't live without it anymore, huh? We're out. We're out. Uh, hey, Hajime. Horizons are beautiful are beautiful things that you keep chasing after, right? Probably! Yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> so what exactly is a horizon anyway? You were using that word without knowing what it is? No. Well, you know, it sounds kind of cool, right? Of all the words I know, that one sounded the coolest. Damn it. In the end, getting lugged around like this just made me even more tired. I arrived at my cottage much earlier than usual and fell into a deep, deep sleep. What are you thinking? Huh? You admire superheroes? Don't you understand what superheroes are like? Superheroes live to stop people from achieving their hopes and dreams, you know? They immediately attack people in groups because they don't have many friends themselves, you know? They're all short-tempered and say stuff like, Now I'm mad, or I won't forgive you, and laugh, you know? They're lazy people who will run away once the other guy starts fighting back, you know? They're willing to use weapons even if they're fighting someone who is alone or unarmed, you know? They're always the winner, so they don't know what they don't know what it's like to have weakling worries, you know? And they like to wear flashy costumes, you know, which means they're all a bunch of smart, good looking, violent, stubborn elitists who don't have any friends. Emergency! Emergency! I don't know. Is it just it just tell me it's good morning, bro, and give me some free time, bro. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, thank you. I'm convinced that's a cup of spit in your hand. You just using the straw to put it back in there. Uh, thanks to Kazuchi, I didn't get much sleep. My head hasn't cleared up that much. Oh well. I might as well head over to the restaurant. All right, with that, I'm saving today's episode, bro. All right, so on today's episode, we discovered the new island. Checked it all the way out. We found Fuyahiko. He's doing okay. Makana's taking care of him. I don't see any potential threats yet. Maybe Hiyoko looking at Fuyahiko was a little strange. Um, at the beginning there was no, that was it. That's only that's the only beef that I could see starting. But like nobody expected Fuyahiko to just come out of nowhere and kill my hero anyway. Actually, you know what? That was Monokuma. Had Monokuma not put the game in motion. None of us, everybody would have been fine. So this movie, I'm really, I'm really interested to see what's, what's, what this got going on. I don't know why this episode was, was so hard for me to read. And like, I'm even stuttering still, right? Probably just tired. But yo, if you are enjoying this series and want to see it continued, I'm promising three dangin' episodes a week. Three dangins a week. Two Yakuza's a week. And I'm sprinkling other content in the meantime. I can promise three dangins a week. I got y'all on that. But with that being said, if you enjoyed this, make sure you slap that thumbs up, subscribe if you are new, hit that bell, and I, I love each and every one of you, and I'll see you in the next video, bro. Peace. <laughs>